Right, trying to be young again. Me and her indoors travelled all the way to uh, Wales. And it was a very long journey to pick up a zap cat. It's uh, actually not a zap cat, it's an aqua cat. Uh, but basically exactly the same. So we're going to see what we can do to the engine because it's got a 50 horse to Hatsu on it. It's very difficult to pull stuff with the 50 horse to Hatsu on. That's just my method of keeping the cover on. A duck's back. It's going to fit this perfectly. Um, a wear gun on there, I think that's from the sheet. Anyway, we're going to see if we can pull start it. It's quite difficult, and then if not, I'm going to fit a starter, which I have got from China. So I'm giving it about four or five pumps on that, and that's hard now. Alright, so we can see if we can pull start up without any help. So there's the choke out. Let's give it a pump. It's hard, it is heavy. Two, three, four. Five, six, very hard to start. Try it with some good old easy start, which I know is not ideal, but I'm six foot one and I can't pull start like that easy. So let's give it a couple of squirts of easy start. Now we'll give it a pull and see how it goes. Starter. Cutouts for it, and it's got a um, has it got the, yeah, it's got the groove thing in there, so we should be able to fit the one I've got from uh, eBay. So, uh, new, give it a bit of a carb clean first. A mystery think. box that came from eBay or from China, and it should have a full start kit for that engine or outboard, which is a Tatsu. 50 horsepower two stroke. All right, well, these are the mystery things in the box. So let's get them open and see what we've got. Quite a lot in the kit. You get a short positive wire, which will connect to the starter and the solenoid there. You get the solenoid with pre-wired. You even get a little rectifier for charging. You get a push button switch, which goes on the engine. And you get the starter motor itself that I hope fits. And then a long wire, which you've got to go to your battery, which is pre-wired. 
so that would go to your, your solenoid so feed in to the solenoid here um, or to the switch bigger pardon and then the switch would feed into the solenoid which would be the brown and then the solenoid would send that would be earthed and then you'll get power to your starter so let's hope it's it all offering fits. the uh, start motor up seems as that will fit would go that way yeah pretty good let's hope it all works it is adding weight but I'm not going to be racing this thing I can assure you I'm going to fit is the uh, starter switch which is a push button and there's a cut out here which had a grommet in it and a little nut there which I'll poke over there and we'll fit that so that's the easy that fit. I might just put a little bit of rubber on it so it holds it in position and the water gets in and then we've got to undo these two nuts here so we can fit the star to it so we'll put a little bit of grease on I'll put a little grease on the bit there so it held on with that bolt and there's a bolt in there which you might have to take this off I don't know but I'm gonna see if I can fettle it in to get that mountain bolt in we are gonna to have to just loosen that and lift it up or take it off so I'm getting her indoors to give us a hand so this one went okay you can see I've greased that so we're getting on so far it seems to be the fitting the one managed fit. to fettle it in by just taking those taking that one out and loosen one those ones off so you can take it off or not or just fettle it in a bit there is a bracket thing on here which I'm pretty hopeful I've got right some sort of on some retard thing. Well, that's the start motor in, so that bolt is in, and that one is in. Um, bring place to get a little bit of grease on the starter ring there, so let's see how to do the rest of it. It's a bracket there mount for the solenoid. The solenoid comes with a nice stainless mount with a rubber right connector. I don't really know which way up it goes, but it could either go up your diddle. Well, downy diddle. I think I'm gonna put it downy diddle and then see if the cow fits on. Right, the first file. It's not a big thing, but that hole is the wrong size for that nut that's got to go in there, which I have added a spring washer to. So I'm gonna to have to go and drill that little mounting hole out. Not a biggie, but it is stainless. That so will be. Yes, you do get several fixings in the kit, so I didn't need to drill the hole. That position meant that the cow hit the um hit the solenoid so I've repositioned it there there's several mountain bolts on the engine so that should be okay there I think really matter where it is it's on a good rubber mount connected the positive from the solenoid to the starter um, and what are we doing now yeah I found that the switch actually goes in that smaller hole so I've took it out and put a little rubber washer that I've made on it just to make it grip nicely put that in see we've had success so that's wired to a battery and a positive and a negative which is just connected on a very small battery um, via this Heath Robinson effort so negative and positive so the positive comes up from the battery up the bottom wire on this two which goes in there I've got to put the grommet in there and that goes to this positive here on the solenoid the big thick positive there's a feed out from that there which goes down to the switch. Ignore the fact that the wire is black. Remember, a wire to a switch is positive if it's in the positive, it's negative if it's in the negative circuit. So it goes down to the switch, which is the push switch, which is there. Comes from the switch, which goes, goes gone down the back to the switch. When it's switched, it comes up the red, which goes into the solenoid there, which is the brown comes out of the solenoid to earth to this point here which is what that was it wasn't a mounting point to there then that s switches the solenoid so the big thick power from there then goes through the solenoid switch into that into that short wire to the positive on the starter motor which then goes through the starter motor and back to earth down the thick black wire so what I've got to do is tidy this up but just as a demo we will just demo it to show you that it works so I just press the button and there you go uh, we could try to start go and turn the water on her indoors the water run and let's see if she'll start chokes in uh, yeah so she started but let's give her a little bit of throttle there you go a lot easier to 
on and all that. And that start the screen all the time, which is even hard. Please with that, so let's kick it off. Alright, please with that, water off. Got it all in, and I've even got the grommet back in for the electrical cable, so there it all is. I've uh, done it up with a little cable tie, so I'm pleased with that. And it works and starts it, and it's going to save a lot of effort for me. So yeah, so how to fit an electric starter motor to your Tahatsu 50 horsepower full start, pull start. I have got a rectifier regulator, but I don't know how to fit that, and I don't know if I will. I might just charge the battery each time I use it, which won't be that much of an effort. Thanks for watching.